Mr. Maroney, Roger Garcetti's testimony has painted a pretty detailed picture uh, of your ties to Gotham PD. Now, are you claiming that this is a total and complete fabrication? Mike, I'm just a man minding my own. Caught in a crossfire between Mr. Dent and the boys in blue. Now, if you ask me, I think these accusations are absurd. And as a taxpayer of this incredible city, I'm a little ticked off at the amount of money they spent dragging me into court when they could have spent the same money on a homeless shelter or, you know, something. But those kind of things don't make headlines, you know what I'm saying? Commissioner Loeb, as much as this is a trial against Sal Maroney, it's also yet another trial against the Gotham Police Department and its corruption. Well, see, I was initially critical of Mr. Dent's internal affairs investigations as they were bad for the morale of my men. But now... The department is working in full cooperation with the district attorney's office to isolate any members of the department that continue to violate the code of the Gotham PD. Now, in doing so, I believe we will root out the corruption and properly cleanse ourselves from the influence of men like Mr. Maroney there. Now, any of those you've isolated have ties to Mr. Maroney, Mr. Loeb? Well, I, uh, I'm not at liberty to say right now. <laughs> That's funny, ain't it, Mike? I mean, these cops. They go around robbing, cheating, and stealing. And this guy, the top cop, he's still got a job. Talk about corruption, huh? Who's scratching your back, chief? You laugh all you want, Maroney. You see, I don't itch. Yeah, right. Now, one of Dent's key witnesses, Albert Rossi, is also an alleged associate of yours. I mean, who's going to be testifying as a go-between between you and Mr. Garcetti. I mean, how do you feel about that, Mr. Maroney? And I can pull a guy off the street for two bills and a handshake. We'll testify that you are the Batman, Mike. That don't make us so, does it? So what you're saying is that Mr. Rossi is not an associate of yours? Mike, who do you think I am? I'll tell you who he is. The head of the Falcone crime family. The head of the Falcone crime family? This guy's got what Dent's got, a big imagination. I'm in the import-export business, Mike, and that's all. The import-export business? Yeah. Not everybody can be Bruce Wayne. I mean, some of us, we got to work for a living, know what I'm saying? Now, how do you respond, then, to the surveillance tapes that were leaked last week that detailed, apparently, the abduction of two mob bagmen who were later found murdered? Ah, tragic. Tragic. My condolences to their families. Mr. Maroney, before they were ambushed, they spoke about your decision to band together with other criminal organizations in Gotham. Well, we work in a global economy, Mike, for Pete's sake. I mean, I do business with all kinds of people. Chechens, Asians, Jamaicans, Puerto Ricans, Arabs, more Arabs. <laughs> Unfortunately, I find out sometimes these guys aren't always on the up and up. And when I find this out, I don't do business with those guys no more. Know what I'm saying? So you're not overseeing a criminal syndicate in Gotham. And this is actually just business. Mike, you're repeating yourself. You got nothing else interesting to talk about. I'm sure the viewers at home are turning off the TVs right now. I mean, you don't want to bore them to death, do you? No, we don't. Commissioner, uh, do the police have any leads in relation to the murders of the two men on their surveillance tapes? Well, Mike, um, I'm expecting a report on the investigation soon. Has Batman been considered a suspect at this point? Mike, that is an interesting question. Oh, Jimbo Gordon got a real thing for the guy, don't he? Jim Gordon is the most honorable cop we have on the force. I never said he wasn't the most honorable cop on the force, but hey, Chief, what's that saying right now? <laughs> you see, Mike, this man would like nothing more than to cast suspicion on an honest cop who was actively shutting down all the various money laundering operations in the city, making it much harder for Mr. Maroney to bank his ill-gotten gains. Oh, so now I'm a money launderer. Great. What's next? You're going to finger me for kidnapping a Lindbergh baby? Mike, do me a favor. Turn this guy off. Commissioner, are you saying that Mr. Maroney is the target of recent money laundering crackdowns? We have reason to believe that all of Gotham's dirty money leads back to... Mr. Maroney. Save yourself a disappointment. Go through your officer's wallets. You'll find most of it there. Mike, you gonna let this guy insult your journalistic ethics? How so at this point, Mr. Maroney? By spouting this garbage. I'm simply, on behalf of Gotham City News, presenting both sides of the argument. That's what the segment's about. This is not an argument, Mike. This is a persecution. No, I, I don't think so, actually. No, you don't think, Mike. You know what? I'm gonna help you. I'm going to think for you. Oh, yeah? Here's what's going on. <laughs> Pretty boy Dent and Baldy over here, Baldy. they're trying to set me up like some kind of patsy. Well, guess what? I ain't no patsy. What I am, what I am is late. I got a day. We got to wrap this up, okay, before we, it sounds more and more like dead air. Well, we're about out of time anyway. Um, Good. Say goodnight. Commissioner Loeb, thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me on, Mike, and I just want to say uh, we'll have our day in court. You enjoy yourself there when you get there, Mr. Maroney. Mr. Maroney, we thank you as well for joining My us. My pleasure. How do I get this thing off me? Can somebody get this off? And thank you for joining.